What's up, Fresh Fam? Here's what to watch this week. Who's hunting us? Open the door, come on. Run. In theaters Friday the 16th is the seventh installment in the Alien franchise called Alien Romulus. And yes, Star Trek fans, we know Romulus is the name of a planet in that franchise, but you just gotta move on. Anyway, the cool thing about this one is that it takes place between the first two classics, Alien and Aliens, following a group of young space colonists who, uh, you know, meet the alien. Speaking of the original, director Ridley Scott served as a producer for Romulus, which was directed and co-written by Fede Alvarez, known for popular horror flicks like Evil Dead and Don't Breathe. This movie stars Kaylee Spaney, who played Priscilla in that biopic last year, along with other up-and-comers like David Johnson, Archie Renault, and Isabella Merced. And lucky us, because we actually sat down with the stars and director to talk about being part of this franchise and going up against such an iconic alien. Check it out. I make horror movies, so nothing scares me a lot, but I was terrified <laughs> of like, showing Sir Ridley Scott my version of Alien. That nothing uh, scarier than that. He was actually the first one to see it. I didn't show it to the studio, I didn't show it to anybody outside of me and my editor. And it was like, as soon as it was done, it was like, okay, the first thing we do, we send it to Ridley, get to Ridley to watch it, and, and I, will, I will drive to where he is and sit down at a table and take it, you know, <laughs> and take whatever it is, the good, the good, the bad. But uh, super happy, obviously, that you enjoy the movie. They said, it's great, and what can I say? You know, that, that, that was something that I always I actually always said, you got, a huge, you got a huge movie here. Yeah, so it, it was, it, it, it went great. It could have gone way worse. The man that is still having a baby with a woman who's in love with another woman, and I'm the only one that knows about it? Well, no relationship is perfect. Hitting Netflix this Thursday is Emily in Paris season four, part one, with the second part coming in about a month. Let's be real, this show just works. And after three fresh seasons so far, this fourth season will still be following, well, Emily in Paris. Played by Lily Collins, of course, but also with some new locations thrown in. And that means new characters, new drama, new language barriers, and even <gasps> winter. What if this wasn't an accident? I'm telling you she was trying very hard to cry. What are you doing? You're not a cop. Leave it alone. Arriving on Apple TV Plus on Wednesday the 14th is the new series Bad Monkey, based on the 2013 novel of the same name. It stars Vince Vaughn in his first major drama series since we loved him in True Detective almost 10 years ago. This time, he's a former detective who's been demoted to restaurant inspector in the Florida Keys, but stumbles on a case that could get him back into the big leagues. Bad Monkey was created by Bill Lawrence, the guy behind great shows like Scrubs, Ted Lasso, and Shrinking, so at this point, you kinda have to give it a try, right? Plus, Apple TV Plus has been on fire lately, just saying. Seems you got a lot of free time. You might wanna pick up some some hours at the country club. Why? You could use a job too. Wait, what? Also this week, don't forget about Bel Air Season 3 hitting Peacock on Thursday. And get this, the guy who played Jeffrey in the original sitcom, Joseph Marcel, will be a part of the season in a different role. Season 3 promises plenty of big moments and continuing storylines from the first two fresh seasons of this reimagined drama. Maybe we push the planet a little far from the sun. We can solve this with sci-fi. Is this the best idea we've ever had? Suck it, consequences! <laughs> <laughs> and the adult anime animated sci-fi show Solar Opposites is back for a fifth season Monday on Hulu. This sitcom has performed well with fans and critics with four fresh seasons so far and returns the all-star voice cast that includes Thomas Middleditch, Tiffany Haddish, and Dan Stevens. Aliens, Emily's, Vince Vaughn's, and more. 